Do you like my fire? <laughs> I thought that would maybe incorporate some autumnal winter vibes. So, who filmed this whole video and then realised it was out of focus? Me. It was me. Thanks. Yeah. It was me. I filmed the whole thing and then it was bloody. So I really hope this isn't bloody. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If you're new, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Sophie and today I am going to chat to you about uni and how to get your ish together for uni. Because I know that I need to, so this is hopefully going to motivate me. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you some tips and things that helped me along the way with uni. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm really sorry if I sound sick. It's because I am. I'm not feeling well. But I'm still going to film because I haven't filmed in ages. I have made a little list as I do in my little YouTube book because I'm actually trying now, 2020, we're manifesting, I'm going to do well with YouTube. Um, so I'm basically going to just split this up into three categories. So we're going to talk about lectures, tutorials and assignments. I've just finished two of my assignments um, for uni for semester one. So I'm going to kind of show you um, how I have constructed my essay and the layout and all that jazz. So if you would like to keep on watching, please do. If you would like to like the video, please do. It means a lot. And let's get started. Let's get you ready for... Oh, that looked bad. Let's get you ready for uni. Okay, so we are going to start off with lectures. So my lectures, the way I do them is very different from first year. I used to just not have a clue what was going on, to be honest, and I'd just be like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't understand. But now I've kind of came up with a better way in how I operate during lectures. The first thing I would say is five minutes before your lecture, make sure to um, take that five minutes to copy and paste the slides that have been put up before the lecture. Um, they should put them up before, and if they don't, then that's really bad. Um, but if they do, make sure that you can kind of become aware of what they're about to talk about, what you're about to learn, like all that kind of jazz so you kind of know and um, you can construct your notes kind of better. So I like to go on my pages on my MacBook, where my little fire is because I'm so cute. And I like to copy and paste it down on a pages page and just kind of organise them and make them look all nice. And then if the lecturer says anything or I come up with something during lecture, I'll write it as an extra and put it in red because any extra notes I will just put in red and yeah this just kind of helps you see your thought process throughout the lecture because you know what knowledge is already there and what new knowledge you have taken up or the lecturer has said is new knowledge and um, however if they don't put the lecture notes up um, it's really important to not just regurgitate the lectures when you're typing like try and have a think about what the actual lecture is about and what the extra notes are so that way you can kind of better understand the lecture rather than just sitting and typing up all the slides when the slides will get put up a couple of days after and you've just kind of wasted 50 minutes of your time not really understanding what you were learning about. So yeah, I like to print my lecture notes after the end of each week and I like to highlight any additional notes that have been there that I think are really um, crucial or important to understand. This just kind of gets you ready for essay prep and essay writing and just kind of gets you ready um, and makes it easier for assignments and stuff like that. So then we are going to move on to tutorials. So tutorials aren't my favourite. I don't really like them. You have to go and you get graded for it. So um, yeah, tutorials I like to copy and paste all my notes and put it on the pages and do my reading and when you're doing your reading make sure to get important pieces of information and I like to highlight in blue and then any information that I learn during the lick during the tutorial I highlight in red um, as you can see I like colour coordinating I like to make sure I know where is where and what is what this just kind of means that 
you know where pieces of information have came from, whether it's came from the actual tutorial, the reading or your thoughts during the tutorial. It just makes things a whole lot easier and easy for essay and assignment prep as well. Confidence in speaking is so important. Don't be afraid, it's really horrible and if you say something wrong, you say something wrong, who cares? Like, I know that I literally am the least smartest person in my tutorials, but do I care? No. Do I say silly stuff? Yeah. That we live, we laugh, we learn, we make mistakes, it's all good. Now I'm going to kind of speak to you about the assignments and I'm just going to walk you through my assignment. That my assignment that I've just done and how I kind of did that. So the most important thing for writing assignments is time management. It's so important. I've said this a million times, literally in so many of my videos and stories and Instagram and all that. Get yourself a little planner and organise your time and make sure you give yourself enough time to write an assignment. I give myself two weeks to write an assignment. So I think that's enough time. I think that's just a good enough amount a good amount of time. A week is not enough because you get really flustered and you panic and then you just I just think two weeks is what you need to write a good assignment, a good strong sturdy assignment. Um so definitely plan in advance, um, organise your week, This I'll show you how I do that, I organise my week and I write little to-dos and I make sure that I know like what this week's gonna hold like uni wise, like lecture wise and tutorial wise and balance that on top of my assignment writing because you need to be able to write your assignment that like, you can't just go home and be like oh I'll just not do it and like make sure you do a little bits of time. Now the one thing I would say is so important is read smart. Read smart and don't read a lot because reading too much stuff is not a good idea. You end up getting really flustered and you panic and you're like oh my god I'm not reading the right stuff. Nothing that I want is coming up. So I would say that Jester and Google Scholar are your best friends when it comes to assignments. For each assignment I read about 50 articles at least um, making my whole assignment. It's only 1,200 words. 1,500 for politics and 2,000 for English so for that many words you need to be re like reading quite a lot but don't read the whole thing, read smart, read the things that you need to know. So one of the biggest like hacks that I've learned and my sister told me this and when she told me I was literally like oh. How did I not think of this? Like why did I, how did I not know about this? So when you are accessing an article or a piece of writing on your computer or like anywhere online um, do command F. Once you do that type in the word or like key point that you need to learn that's in your essay. So if you're doing an essay on gender and you want to know about women, literally control command F and then look up women and then it will literally list every single sentence that mentions the word woman or that character name. If you want the specific character, write the character name. It just basically can it just basically condenses um, your pieces of information that you need to know just a whole lot more. It makes things so much easier. You can just read the pieces of information and knowledge that you need. Don't scroll through a whole book. Just read the important things that are relevant to you. And if the book, if the article isn't relevant, don't read it. Like just leave it. Like only find what's relevant to you. Another thing that's really important is having scholars and theory theories to back up your essays. This is like kind of. I don't know if it's common sense or not because when I was in school I didn't know about this but I'm just going to tell you so if you're in school and you're going to uni or you're in uni and you didn't know about this backing up your claims or backing up something you're saying in an essay you need to back it up with a like a quote from a scholar or a theory you need to make sure that your information that you're in your essay is relevant because if you say a really philosophical like abstract like sentence or statement they're gonna be like why don't like back it up bag up bag up bag up tear what it refer tear um yeah they're gonna be like back up like oh lord lord you need to like back up your information so make sure you do that it's really important i know that from high school to uni that's one of the most important things that you'll learn um yeah keep that in mind bibliography and spelling so I'll just kind of go through um, my copy so you have your little front copy which is cool I don't think I can show it because I feel like that's where you know will be like 
don't show that but oh well um i like to copy and paste the little like fancy about the top like school of political sciences you know i don't know if you're supposed to but i like to do it on each page so it looks a little bit bougie um for me it was helvetica size 11 font double sided so just make sure that your paragraphs are neatly laid out and it's clear where your paragraphs are and what you're going to talk about and then for your bibliography everything needs to be in alphabetical order I'm sure if you look up Harvard referencing you'll be able to find that no bother but that is the reference and I use at Glasgow um, and if you have a little graph or a little picture that's also quite bougie you're just like take, take a graph, graph. Um, and yeah that is kind of it also for stationery wise pastel highlighters are your boo get some pastel highlighters I have some nice little notebooks for sociology and English and politics and my little diary, as you can see, colour coordinating, bullet points, nice aesthetic hand like notebooks are my fave and that's what gets me through uni. So if you're like me, make sure to go to like Paper Chase or TK Maxx or something like nice places to get nice little stationery pieces. Um I think that's me. I think that's everything that's that needs to be talked about. Um, I hope that you found this interesting and I hope that it helped in some shape or form. Do not stress if you are not feeling this semester, you've got second semester, you can ace it, don't worry. Um, if you have any questions or if you would like any other video requests, let me know down in the comments. DM me on Instagram, say what you will, I don't mind. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to like the video, please do. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. It means a whole lot. 2020, we are manifesting YouTube to be a, a good weekly thing. I need to get back to it. We're going to do it. I promise. Um, yeah, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. And I hope that you have a lovely day. And I'll see you very, very soon.